It's a beautiful summer day and we've finally got temperatures consistently above 75 degrees Fahrenheit um, every day. And so it's time for summer leaf cutter bees. And the mason bees are done nesting, so I'm going to take the mason bee nesting tray out of the bee house and use our new summer garden upgrade kit to raise leaf cutter bees in the same bee house. So it comes with a six millimeter size leaf cutter nesting tray. It's got Invita Bee for leaf cutter bees. This will help them move into their new nesting tray. We've got incubated leaf cutter cocoons. They're gonna be ready to fly in the next day or two. We've got a bee guard bag for protecting the nesting tray while the bees are um, hibernating over the winter. We've got our native bee guide, which is a booklet that you can um, get all of the information you need to, for how to raise the leafcutter bees over the summer. And then we've got a sheet of instructions that also tells you everything you need to know about the, the trays and then the accessories and how to use them. So we're going to take the mason bee tray out of the bee house. The bees are done nesting. It's snug in there. This tray is snug. It's because of the rubber bands. There. I can put it into the bee guard bag to protect it. This is a fine mesh bag that keeps insects out and protects the mason bee larva while they're developing over the summer. So I want the mud holes facing up so that the egg stays on top of the pollen loaf. Then I'm just going to cinch the top closed. And I can tie, wrap this around and tie it really tight if I want. And then I'm going to put this in my garage or shed, someplace that's not heated or air conditioned. So then we've got our six millimeter size leaf cutter tray. And we want to keep this um, Keep this cardboard backing on the back that helps them nest because they feel safe. They feel like they're in a nesting hole that's secure. I'm going to put the tray back as far as it will go. Then we open the Invita Bee spray. These are also a smaller reed. The reeds are a visual attractant and the leaf cutter bees will nest in the reeds first. Once they nest in the reeds, they'll start nesting in the tray. So I'm putting the reeds on top of the tray. We've got this little bottle of pheromone spray. And I'm just gonna spray the front a few times. And get some on the reeds too. With the um, leaf cutter bees, they're gonna start waking up in a, the next day or two. And so I just open the, the bag. You can sit, um, close it up a little bit. You just wanna make sure that they've got some space to crawl out. So you just take the leaf cutter bag and put it in on top of the tray, but towards the back as far as you can go. And just make sure that it's open a bit. And then you're done.